Welcome back, Advent 1. We did the Old Testament passage a little bit ago from Jeremiah. Now we're in Romans. Romans, such a fun text. Fun, pa well, fun for some. Some people read Romans. It's a great dogmatic type textbook, and they go, oh, this is so exciting. And others read it, and they go, oh, this isn't as exciting. Me, I just get excited about everything. But Romans 13 is the epistle for Advent 1, and it goes thus, starting at verse 8. Owe no one anything except to love each other. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. Mm, sounds like Jesus, I think. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep. Oh, it's so Christmassy sounding. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. The night is far gone. The day is at hand. So then let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the daytime, not in orgies or drunkenness, not in sexual immorality or sensuality, not in quarreling and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Ooh, fun times. That's more Halloween-y than Christmas-y, advent -y. The reality is the time is short. The hour is near than when we first believed. We're closer to heaven. We're on that adventure together, that pilgrimage unto life eternal. And Christ comes to carry us all the way there. And how do we walk in the meantime? We walk not gratifying the old Adam because he's over here wanting to do stuff. You know, he's like Joe Pesci over there. I'm going to, you know, if you know who Joe Pesci is, then you're blessed uh, children. If you don't know, then ask your mom or dad who Joe Pesci is. He's one of the dudes from Home Alone. Not the taller one, but the shorter one. But it's like that's the old Adam. He's just kind of, you know, egging you on to do bad stuff, to do wicked things. And we, we don't want to do that because it's so much more fun to love my neighbor. It's so much more delightful not to be jealous, but to rejoice in what they have, to, to be humble and to walk in humility. If you were about to say in humility, Chris, and that's the same thing, but to walk in that with each other, to love one another, to be Christ to each other. Why? Because that's how we're going to live unto eternity. We're going to be as Christ is for us, for each other, under the ages of ages. So might as well start acting like it now, living it now, rejoicing in it now. Because Christ rejoices in you. Because you are all he wants. He comes to claim you as his own and carry you back home to his Father in heaven. So it's fun times. The hour is closer at hand now. It's not scary. It's not terrifying. It's like 4 o'clock on Christmas morning when you wake up to go see your presents a little early before mom and dad wake up. That's where we are. It's exciting. Dad's still asleep, but guess what? We're having a fun time looking to see what that big present is. Hopefully it's not socks. Trust me, it's not. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.